It was over when he didn't want it to be over. When he has his bad days, they're pretty bad. A little heartbreak. It was, it was crushing, really, to me. Emotionally, it was tough. Uh, it was tough on me and my family, uh, you know. I felt like I had worked uh, my whole life to get to this point, you know. I was living the dream, playing Division One baseball, um, and then all of a sudden I wasn't healthy, and I wasn't able to perform the way that I wanted to, wasn't having the results I wanted to, and ultimately it led to me you know, not having fun. I think I wanted it sometimes more than he did, and uh, I took it hard just because one day you're watching your son play, and then one day it's over. My sophomore year, we were about three weeks out of season. Uh, we had morning weights one day. I woke up with some uh, pretty severe abdominal pain. I uh, wasn't really sure what was going on. We ended up leaving weights, trying to go down to the trainer's room. I was crawling by the time I was about to get down there. I ended up going to the emergency room. And the pain was constantly coming back. It was pretty scary. I was worried because I've had the same issues and I've had some surgeries on my stomach and stuff because of that. I go long periods of time without using the bathroom. Uh, so basically, when it starts to work its way through, um, it pushes against the colon, causes the colon to kind of expand out, uh, push up against you know, other organs. So that's where the discomfort comes from. I felt that what was best for me at the time after the season ended was to just uh, hang it up and try to get myself healthy. You never want to see anyone be forced to quit their sport due to, you know, like an illness, injury, and that's what he had to do, especially, you know, as a team we had a couple rough years, but he always was a bright spot for our team. He was down, he was trying to battle through it. And especially, you know, when you're young, you want to play and you don't want to tell coach, hey, I'm hurting. But uh, there was many times, you know, he would just, you know, he would lay over in the shed. I'd see him laying in the shed. And you know he's hurting when he's laying in the shed. It was tough, it was tough. You know, I, I dreamed of playing baseball I, uh, from the time I was a kid. I wanted to get drafted and go play in the league, and then once I got to where I was so unhealthy and basically had to decide to hang it up, you know, it was, it was tough. This is a guy that I played with all my life, and uh, he's always been there, so then, you know, I know eventually, he, I mean, he's a year older than me, so eventually he would graduate, but we weren't ready for that yet. I just tried to be positive and just tell him, you know, it's going to be better, you'll be better, and. Uh... And once we got past not thinking he's going to play baseball anymore, then it was just, you know, get through school and, you know, get your degree and just go from there. It was really hard on my mom. You know, my mom went through a lot. You know, she's the strongest woman I know. I'm still obsessed about baseball. Yeah, as, soon as, I, as soon as I hung it up, the first thing I did was um, call my high school coach, you know, tell him what was going on. Because uh, I'm still, re I'm really close with all those guys um, out of my high school, and uh, I started volunteering out there. I was the, our volunteer assistant for our high school team, and then I head coached our middle school team at the same time. Uh, so I still stayed around the game as much as I could. I think that made him realize how much he loved the game, and he missed playing it. And I was glad to see him stay connected to it. I always kind of planted the seed. I was like, you know, you think you might ever play again? And he'd always just blow me off, man. Nah, so I kind of learned just to kind of leave it alone. Uh, my best friend, he plays baseball at Indiana Wesleyan. Um, he played on the summer team down in Cincinnati. He came home uh, for the summer, had about two months uh, before he had to go back to school to play. And, you know, I was, I was coaching at the time, so he came out and uh, I helped him out a lot. We would throw and we would run stuff together and lift every day. And this is really the first physical activity I've done in two years. So then I started realizing after a couple of weeks, you know, I was feeling all right. My arm felt really good. I mean, obviously I hadn't thrown in so long. And he kind of put the idea in my head of, you know, you need to give this a try. He calls me 
And then he's like, uh, hey, what do you think about going to a ball game in the spring? And mm -hmm. I thought he was talking like the Reds or the Cubs or something. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, well, I just went to walk on tryouts. I'm back on the team now, so I got practice tomorrow. You know? I just got real emotional. I just, I couldn't even talk. Tears were flowing down my face, you know, and just, you, know, you try not to be a big baby sometimes in life, but sometimes tears are good. I didn't, I just cried like a baby. I was a sophomore until now, just you know, not working out consistently. So I had to learn how to pitch completely different than what I did before, because I threw so much harder before than I do now. How he's different is now he can throw the ball at a lot of different angles, whereas before he was over the top pitcher. I might be a guy who could come in and be a, a one batter a game kind of guy if I needed to be. And so at the tryout, he asked if I could throw from down here, and I was like, you know, I can try and we'll see. Be a little bit offset, get a little bit of hip action, and then go. I was watching that on the computer. You know, and that's just like fist pumping the whole time. Um, that was fun. Um, I would say that's probably been his best, as far as success moment, as far as getting people out. And I felt like the baseball guys were looking down on me that day because it was just one of those things I couldn't explain. Just whatever pitch I threw, they swung and missed. His job is to come in and face the best left-handed hitters when the game's on the line. And for most of the season, Devin's done a really nice job. I know he's trying to really enjoy this year because, I mean, he here's a guy who got something taken away from him, and now uh, he gets to play again, so he's definitely not taking it for granted. I think people can just see that I'm somebody who enjoys the game of baseball and loves being around the game. And, you know, I don't take it for granted. Couldn't be more proud. I was glad to join the Brotherhood late. You know, I've made some friends I know I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Uh, and, you know, it's really cool to be a part of something like this.